Hello, Westwood. I am Lisa Nebel with today's Mercy Moment. As a great reminder that God's mercies are new every morning, I'm grateful to be able to connect with you through social media. I never thought I would say that. This week we are sharing favorite Bible verses. There are so many great verses in the Bible. I don't have just one, but Ephesians 2.10 has been meaningful for me through a season of my life. It says this, For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. I've had seasons in, in my life where I've struggled to fit in. I wasn't smart enough to fit in with the nerds. I didn't fit in with the jocks or the musicians or the cheerleaders. These feelings of not fitting in continued on as an adult. This verse was super helpful to me in this season as I came to understand that God created me uniquely and perfectly, and I wasn't a mistake. When I lean into God and follow his leading in my life, I fit in perfectly, but I need to keep my eyes focused on him. I do get off track and the coronavirus has thrown me off track. I lost my focus. I'm an extrovert and I enjoy interacting and encouraging people face to face. I'm a hugger. I don't engage much on Facebook and Instagram and or feel connected with people when I'm active there. Working at home and engaging in virtual meetings has left me feel feeling drained, distant, and empty with no energy afterwards for engaging with family and friends and not at all like God's handiwork. I felt like a bird and that my wings had been clipped. Through time and prayer and scripture, I was able to change my focus. Through stay at home and social distancing, I had developed an inward focus. I was looking at myself and at my struggles while I cocooned in my house. When I was able to shift my focus from inward and myself to outward and God, everything changed. It started small for me as I felt God nudging me towards blessing others. It started with balloons and caramel M&Ms dropped off at the doorsteps of those I was grateful for, to teaching my mom, who's 82, how to FaceTime. It is through being obedient to these little things that got placed on my heart that I began to feel again like God's handiwork. Moving from an inward focus to an outward one. God continues to lead me to love people like Jesus in my little sphere of influence in this crazy time we have ourselves in. I hope this is helpful for you as you consider where God is leading you in this season. God bless you in your day. I can't wait till we see each other again face to face.